Jonathan, the independent and a BBC radio presenter, has said that he finds the skin colour of his colleagues is affecting his mental health. I think there might be a word for that, isn't there? Uh, yeah, the word is legend. No. Ah, OK, <laughs> good. Definitely not. Uh, so, <laughs> BBC presenter says overwhelmingly white workplace affects his mental health. Well, he wouldn't like it here. Yeah. Right, BBC Radio 5 Live so, presents... This is a very uh, diverse... Diverse panel. No, well, it's a very diverse office and the people who work here. Oh, really? I don't, I don't talk to the employees. So. Oh, I have wow. um, not been in Radio 5 recently, but I have been in Radio 5. I don't know which one he's talking about, but there used to be one in New Broadcasting House. It is reasonably diverse there, I think. OK. That's what I remember, certainly. Well, the BBC he... department, yeah. What's generally. he complaining about, then, if it's... Yeah, it's a bit odd. He says he's the only Muslim... Right. Is that? I don't know. That's a well, does he say thing? he's the only Muslim? He says there's no. He says he's not sure if there's any Muslims who are on the editorial oh, that's staff. Right. Yeah. And whatever. Well, okay. he's, first of all, so that means he's not sure. Yeah. And secondly, maybe everybody's in different jobs mm. and there's loads of Muslims who are presenters or whatnot. I don't know. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is. It's unacceptable, isn't it? I mean, what, unacceptable it, him, to him to say it. I think so. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's yeah. out of order. I think I've it, been on his show a couple of times. So I've spoken ah. to him. He's a fairly reasonable bloke, generally speaking, and I'm yeah. sure he's. He probably thinks he's, like, broaching a difficult subject and raising it and hoping that the BBC can be encouraged to pursue diversity because it will help everyone. Uh, no, no, Is that why was, you wore if, the hat? If yeah. he was sort yeah. of saying... He's sort of also sort of saying that, oh, it's because uh, they're not getting people or they're not promoting people who are like... who, who are only like them or whatever, which yeah. is thinly felt. If there's any evidence of prejudice against um, Asian people or black people about yeah. being promoted... Uh, behind the scenes or in front of the scenes or whatever like that, sure, bring up that evidence. But yeah. just to sort of go, oh, I walk into a room and there's a bunch of white people, at, you know, yeah. of course, I hate these, like, flipping it around, but of course if it was any other ethnicity w mentioned well, first it, all, if, it, it would be If you be were racist. to do it in this country, that would be obviously unacceptable. Yeah. If a white man was to say, I don't like working there, there's too many, pe you know, uh, yes. black people or, or Asian people or whatever. But and go even further. Imagine if you or I happened to be living overseas and then started complaining that the, the native people of whichever country it was, you know, predominated in a yeah, workplace. Yeah. I mean, I cannot imagine anywhere that would put up with that. But I think also just the fact he said it's just the fact that they're white yeah. affects his mental health. Not yeah. the way they've treated him That's true. It's not a or anything thing. like it's that. Just white, it's yeah. just the, 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 the visuals of it. It's become acceptable and it should not be. John